Hello, I'm Dave Katzka. I'm a, a consultant at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I'm going to talk about our study, uh, which was entitled The Safety, Tolerability, and Accuracy of the Cytosponge for the Diagnosis of Eosinophilic Esophagitis. So the reason we did this study is because eosinophilic esophagitis is a disease which needs careful monitoring. Because we know that histology oftentimes does not correspond to symptoms or endoscopic picture. As a result, it's an important endpoint that we make sure we normalize the esophageal histology in these patients. As a result, because these patients are often subject to multiple endoscopies, particularly after use of proton pump inhibitors, after steroids, and particularly for diet therapy, it was our goal to try to, to try to use a new technique which could more accurately assess these patients without having to go through endoscopy. Toward this end, we contacted Dr. Rebecca Fitzgerald in Cambridge, who developed this incredibly novel and important device called the cytosponge. And here is what the cytosponge looks like. And you'll see it's a small capsule which contains the sponge and a string. And basically, we unwrap this string and have the patient swallow this capsule, which I'll show you in a second. And in Rebecca's hands, Rebecca has shown uh, quite convincingly that this is an extremely accurate tool for diagnosing esophageal cancer and may well um, work in addition to or, in, in fact, replace endoscopy at various parts of the world where routine endoscopy for esophageal cancer screening is not available. So we thought this might be a good way of accessing tissue in patients with eosinophilic esophagitis and perhaps avoid the need for multiple endoscopies to monitor therapy. So the way this works is after the patient swallows this capsule, and basically they bunch the string in their mouth and swallow it with a large glass of water, what happens is the sponge deploys, and this is what it looks like. So it completely unfolds out of the gelatin capsule into a uh, cylindrical uh, mesh, and it's the coarseness of this mesh, mesh which scrapes against the esophagus and yields a robust tissue sample. It takes five minutes, requires no anesthesia, and uh, at this point we will show you a picture of what I look like having swallowed a cytosponge. sponge. Um, it's very easily tolerated, and the only difficult part is withdrawal of the string, which requires a little bit of a tug, but takes less than five seconds. Um, in our hands, we found that the sponge was extremely accurate. We had um, close to 85% accuracy when comparing uh, the sponge to endoscopic biopsies performed just after uh, performance of the cytosponge. More importantly, we actually detected two patients in our first 20 who had uh, eosinophilic esophagitis diagnosed by sponge, finding greater than 15 eosinophils per high power field with negative biopsies. And this may not be surprising because after all, presumably with this sponge, we're sampling more of the esophageal mucosa as opposed to a minute number of discrete biopsies taken in the proximal distal esophagus. Um, just as importantly, we were also able to show that this sponge is not only accurate in diagnosing active eosinophilic esophagitis, but it's almost as accurate as endoscopy in diagnosing patients in remission as well. So it's our hope then that with the use of this sponge, we'll be able to use a very cost-effective, um, easy to pass, well tolerated, safe procedure which patients prefer over endoscopy, not only for expense costs, but because they don't miss a day of work, uh, there's no anesthesia involved, and that this, in, in our hopes from will be subsequent multi center studies, will prove the test of choice in monitoring disease in patients with active via xenophilic esophagitis and response to treatment. Thank you very much.